Hey, you guys, it's your girl, Deborah. Okay, today I went live to make this puff. I messed up on a major key part of this puff. I wound up fixing what I messed up, so I was going to just go on and post it. But I decided not to because my audience is fairly new to crocheting. So I don't want to make a mistake and confuse anybody. So I decided to redo the video, and I just recorded it, and here it is. But we're going to learn how to make this puff with this uh, ball maker. This ball maker comes in several sizes. This is the medium size. I also have the small size. And then you're going to need the scissors. And because my hands are uh, dealing with some issues, I use these blades. Be very careful with the blades. They definitely can cut yourself. But if it's sharp, it makes it very, very easy. So in this video, you're going to learn how to make the puff for the top of a hat. So if you're interested in this video, stay tuned. If you like videos like this, beginner friendly, hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell on so you can be notified once I upload new videos. Hit that thumbs up too to let me know that you like what I'm putting out. Now let's get started with the video. Out with the ball maker. With this little machine and a little uh, uh, dilly bop or whatever this is called, it comes like this, but it also can be tore apart. These little things can be tore out of each other. So sometimes they'll come apart like this. And then sometimes they come together. Mine came together when I received mine. When I bought them, they did come closed, just like this, and they was already put together. But it's not hard. It's just one move. Basically this, and put it back together in here just like that. I'm trying to see the hole. Put it together. Now you have this end that opens up this way, and then you have this end that opens up this way. You're going to wrap your yarn around this whole entire thing. Try not to be on top of these two platforms. I'm using a five weight yarn. I do believe that you can use, I've used a six weight yarn as well on it. But right now I'm going to use a five weight on this and just wrap. This is basically all you're doing. You want to wrap it around as even as you can. All the way around the little dilly bopper. I don't even know what the ball maker. I don't really know what this is called. But basically that's what you're doing. Wrap it all the way around. You want to wrap it around evenly. Come on this side. Do a little bit and come around. Go around the middle parts. Just go back and forth all the way across until you get it all the way filled up just keep wrapping until you get it as thick as you need it to be but my life today you guys was horrible <laughs> it wasn't bad i just i have to keep doing it because it'll make me more comfortable but when i'm nervous i make mistakes and today the mistake that i made was something that i have never i mean i have made i made it when i first started but i hadn't made that type of mistake in a while and that was forgetting to wrap the yarn around the whole thing and so i was going to i definitely was going to post it i was because i feel like you know it was live and it was something that happened and people needed to see mistakes but i just felt like that was too much of a mistake for my audience because my audience are is a beginner audience so i didn't want to make a mistake to make people confused so i decided to just do the video on another video and i will continue to go live matter of fact i'm gonna try to go live tomorrow at nine o'clock <sighs> i'm gonna try to do it i'm gonna try to do it every day at nine o'clock I'm not going to stick myself to it. I'm just going to try my best to do it every day at 9 o'clock. So close this down just like that. And then start to pull this one out and start on the other side. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that. Start wrapping on the other side. You're wrapping both of these two together. Okay, I think this is about as thick as I need it to be. Then you take this side also and you close it up. Cut this thread off. You can really even this because you're not going to need these two pieces of thread anymore. You can even this with pretty much where you think it needs to be so you don't keep getting it caught up. Let's cut it all the way down. I would normally take my scissors and go in between this space right here. This little space right here. Take your scissors and you grab this part and you just start cutting. Just cut it all the way up. But my hands will not let me really do that. So I use, I know it's a little aggressive, but I use this little blade because it just makes it go by so much easier. And if your blade is nice and... um. Um, sharp. If your blade is nice and sharp, it's going to go by really quick. Just don't cut yourself. That's what I did when I first started doing this. I cut the heck out of myself. Like that. I cut this whole part of my hand. It wasn't like a really terrible, like a really, really bad cut, but it was something I didn't want. So just be careful when you're using this blade. Now this is cut all the way across here and you grab a piece of yarn and you lay this on top of the yarn up under it like that bring it up in between that oh sorry bring it up in between that bring this side up between this one take it and you pull it you can almost hear it pull just like that pull it all the way around there then you take try to pull as tight as you can without breaking your yarn then you tie a knot in it 
you take the knot and you squeeze it down until you can feel that it and hit that bottom part tight. You can do as many knots as you need to. You can do one or you can do two. I'm going to do two. And bring it up. You can cut these evenly. I would leave a pretty long tail so when you put it into your hat, you'll have something to work with. Because you can always cut them down, but you don't want to make them too short. So cut that down, cut it a little long. Then go over here and find these two ends. And all you're going to do is raise those up. You can do it one at a time or both, you know, whichever one. Raise that up on that side and come on this other side. Grab these, this side, and raise it up. Just like that. Then you pull either side and pull it apart, just like that. And this is your puff. Shake it a little bit to get it all the little extra hairs off of it. And you're going to have some straggling high pieces. So then you just take your scissors and just cut off those little parts that's higher than what you need them to be. Cut around them and just make it even. Just like a little nice haircut. Just like that. That's pretty even. Yeah, I mean, I could shave it off a little bit more. But that's pretty much it. That's how you make a puff with the puff ball dilly whopper. I don't know what that thing is called. Um, but that's how you make a good puff. Now, this puff is really, really puffy. And you can use this on hats or whatever at the end of blankets, anything. It makes for a really, really good little decoration piece for anything. So, and then you got your, uh, your strings long enough. So, when you put it in your hat, you can tie it into the hat. Happy crocheting. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.